of two prominent marijuana advocates today beginning to gather signatures for a petition that could get on the 2012 ballot. The petition that would give voters a chance to legalize marijuana or, as the sponsors are putting it, to regulate it like alcohol. All Denver voters will decide whether to legalize marijuana and even some law enforcement officials say it's a good idea. A group of police officers, prosecutors and judges announcing today that they support Amendment 64 which would regulate marijuana like alcohol. The NAACP is endorsing Amendment 64. We wanted to know the reasons for that endorsement and asked our Jennifer Bryce to find out. The NAACP says pot prohibition does more harm to our communities than good. Five is your election headquarters, and today, Colorado's largest union came out in support of Amendment 64, which is to regulate marijuana like alcohol. The regional chapter of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union represents 25,000 members in Colorado and Wyoming. Public opinion. I want to show uh, uh, national numbers here. In 1969, which was a time when there were some people smoking pot, 12% uh, were favored legalization and 84% opposed it. And look at that. That, that. The only other graph that looks like that actually is marriage equality. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's the only <laughs> other issue where you see those kinds of numbers. We're now, for the first time, 50% for legalization, 46% opposed pot on the ballot voters in Oregon Washington and Colorado three states are going to decide whether or not to allow marijuana to be sold and taxed and if you want to know what legalized marijuana might look like the place to go is Colorado which has the most developed medical marijuana industry in the country <laughs> Yeah, we've made a call uh, on the controversial marijuana ballot question, Amendment 64. Floyd, uh, we can safely say this is going to pass? Uh, yes, it is. And it goes to show the excitement here right now. You can see all these people celebrating. The cheers got louder and louder as we started to see those numbers come in. The first state to legalize marijuana. Both Colorado and, uh, and Washington tonight have approved, voters have approved the legalization of recreational use of marijuana. Now, these are... I am so proud to be up here to say that we are standing in the first state in our nation. That is very to To know that coming this next year, there will not be 10,000 arrests for marijuana. This, this, this is for the 10,000 Coloradans arrested every year. This is for the 800,000 Americans arrested every single year for marijuana possession. This is for the millions and millions of marijuana people that have been arrested in our country for marijuana possession over the years. This is for them. And, and tonight we made history. This is something. It's not about me. It's not about, it's not about the folks up here on the stage. It's about you. I'm so happy that we, we not only did this, but we, we did it right. Yeah. You know, we did it right. And Colorado is a starting point, it's a tipping point, and it's not the end point. Uh, and it's, it's nice when you work on something and you dedicate your life to something that you know is right, and you're the underdog, and then you actually win. 